this video, we're going to be talking about how to create a buzz before we get to the tuba mouthpiece. So the tuba mouthpiece is a lot different compared to all the other brass instruments. So I frequently don't start my students, you all, on buzzing without the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece actually helps keep everything kind of in place because of how low the nature of the instrument is. The trumpet, the horn, the trombone, and baritone, you can get a decent buzz without the mouthpiece. It's called free buzzing. On tuba, I don't like to start there. We'll create the embouchure, but as soon as we can, we're gonna add the mouthpiece to help use the mouthpiece to keep the muscles and everything in place the best way. Okay, so we're gonna start with how we form the embouchure and the way it's different compared to the other brass embouchures and why. So, I start with the letter M, but it's gotta be really relaxed. Our teeth have to be more apart than the other instruments. So, I like to practice an M, and I'll put a, a straw between my teeth, but I don't want the, the, the teeth holding the straw by any means. I want there to be more space in between, so I'll keep holding the straw with my uh, fingers. The reason is our mouth has to be more open to allow the air to get through the, the mouthpiece. You'll notice if I had it open, my lips are just kind of holding it there. So M, and then we're going to slow but strong constant air. Okay, we want the air to be as hot, as warm as possible. So almost think of you taking your hand out and you're gonna blow uh, almost like the fog in the mirror up. It's kind of like that, but we want the air to keep going through the straw. M. Almost like Luke, I am your father. Just like that, that hot air, okay? So once we're able to do that, the way we get a buzz is our lips vibrate together very slowly to create a tone. Okay, so once we get the M, we have the air going slow. The last thing I do is I add the mouthpiece. Okay, so uh, the tuba mouthpiece is very unique in the fact that it is very large. Okay, so when we hold the mouthpiece, especially for the first year or so, I have my students three fingers, thumb, one, two, and then I use the pinky to cover part of the hole. Okay, depending on how it is, it adds some resistance to make the buzzing easier for you. Because if not, the air is just gonna feel like it's falling out of you. So, two fingers, you're gonna cover part of the actual shank to make it easier for you, okay? So, we're gonna, when we place the mouthpiece, the mouthpiece is very large. We want it to be mostly on our top lip. Some of it's gonna be on our bottom lip. You'll notice even mine, it's touching my nose. If you're a smaller player, it may have to sit lower for a while. As time goes on, it'll probably naturally go where you want to go. So you either want 50-50 or slightly higher than the top lip, okay? So once it's there, the one thing I always talk about is the lips in the middle have to be relaxed, but the outside where it touches the mouthpiece have to be strong. You can even see it in the mirror, in the camera. See the muscle forming? But inside, see the muscle. Okay, so once we understand that, we have just have that air with the mouthpiece. So remember, cover the end. Okay, and you should get a, a low buzz, okay? There's nothing wrong regardless of what sound you get. So if you feel like it's barely happening, we probably need a little more M. Let your lips touch some more. Okay, and it should feel like your lips are kind of pushing together. Okay, it feels like you're running out of air a lot. Cover more of the hole. Okay, so if you get that airy sound, let your lips touch together. It feels like it's really pinched. That means our lips are way too together. We have to relax and get them to almost be flappy and relaxed. Okay. So relaxing the lips in, okay? The next thing is, if you're trying to get lower notes, I always talk about, a, I call it bulldog face. You always want your bottom lip to be more free. Okay, so those are a couple tips. For the tuba, if you can get to about a four second buzz, four second long buzz, you're probably more than okay to go to the instrument. The instrument adds a lot of support and resonance to the mouthpiece because the mouthpiece is so large. So, 
Okay. And if you feel like that's too low, you can try faster air and get a higher dose. Okay. All those notes are normal notes in the tuba. So the, as long as you can get a good, strong sound, you're going to be good. So practice your buzz, get it as long as you can, and let's start adding it to the tuba. See you in the next video.